Okay, right now I am in Blair's parents' garage where I've been painting for the last two months while we build out the Jambulance. So as you can see, we're right off our garage door. There's the Jambo. And right here is my makeshift painting studio while we're getting the van ready. So this is what I'm working on right now. This is titled Sickle Country. So let me go ahead and pull out here and see if you can get a full glimpse. So yeah, this is called Sickle Country. This is an image I had one day when I was meditating and a vision came to me of my meditating hand being chopped off by a sickle. And a lot of times, well, maybe not so much these days, but a lot of times when I paint, I'm not quite sure what the meaning is at the beginning, but I know that it's an image that I have to carry through. So this is that type of image, something that I haven't really had in a while. And yeah, I just knew that I needed to carry this vision forth. And so here we are. Now this mudra right here is the mudra that I use quite frequently and it is associated with air. And it is when the uh, middle finger is touching the thumb and it's to increase intuition. Yeah, I had this vision and it's a little bit gruesome, a little bit bloody. Here is the unpainted part where the hand is getting chopped off. And as you can see, the sickle is coming from an unknown hand from above and slicing down and up through the arm. This is a propaganda poster from the USSR and this woman here is making a hushed motion because she doesn't want to encourage gossiping. So this, this would be a poster that would typically be seen around the Soviet Union. And yeah, she's very angry and this was all about suppression. So this is something that I've been feeling. Um, some of you may or may not know, I have been taking intermittent breaks from Facebook because it's been causing a lot of um, havoc on my nervous system because every time I post anything political, there's a lot of division with people and um, a lot of attacks and I feel like I can't just be quiet, you know, because I feel to remain quiet is to remain complicit. And we're living in America, a country where we are supposedly supposed to have free speech. So there we go. And this is how I've been feeling lately, especially with the Looney Tune Trump that's in leadership right now. Um, he's fucking insane and I will never support that shit bag. So yeah, this is how I'm feeling right now pre-election. And if you're seeing this post-election, I guess we'll know the results of what's going to happen with the next four years. But I, for one, am contemplating living off the grid and homesteading and spending most of my time outside of the country anyway. So we'll see what happens. Right, babe? Yeah. Who do you think is going to get elected? Biden. We're feeling optimistic lately because Biden is leading the electoral co college by quite a bit. So please fucking vote if this is, if you're seeing this before election. So if there's even time left. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and share some glimpses of my painting process. Right now I am painting the hand, as you can see. So I usually lay in the darks. Hi, BB, how are you? Good girl. Got my painting partner here, Butterball, keeping me company. Look how big she is. Good girl, you're being so good. We've been letting her hang out with us and letting her come outside because she's been she's been a really good girl. Yes, you have. And you know, after not having my easel for so many months, it's been really nice to have this easel because this is my baby. But anyway, so I go in with the darks first and then I go in with the midtones and the more um, colored areas like the pink and the orange here, the yellow here. And then I just build up and then I'll do the, la the fat last, which is the white. And then typically I'll do two or three layers on skin tones on pretty much any piece because skin is so, it just has a lot of layers to it. So this is gonna remain pretty flat because this obviously is a poster and it's more graphic in quality. And then up here, I don't know if you can tell, but I've added a little bit of medium. So there is some texture here, which is something I haven't really tried on a piece, but I really wanted this handle to pop out on the sickle. Whew. So anyway, guys, I will keep you updated. 
Oh, and I'm of course wearing my classic Love Yourself shirt, which is a deeper layered commentary, and my face is gonna be quite disturbed. All right, I'm so happy to be able to share this process with you guys again. I haven't been sharing as much of my painting process, but I am still painting. I'm working on a series called The Virus, which is, it has layers to it. It's the virus of racism in contemporary America, as well as the, vir the actual virus, the pandemic that we're experiencing, and the mundane, as well as the emotional and extreme with regard to the pandemic and also the virus of dictatorship kind of seeping into our American democracy. So there are many, many layers to the series and it all feels like one big virus. <laughs> so we're gonna keep battling guys. We're out here, we're working as artists, as speakers, as people who will not be complicit. But um, anyway, feels good to share my process with you. Hope you guys have a good day. Today we are working on more skin tones. So I just finished painting the foot and the arm. Now it's time to work on my head. <laughs> so as you can see, I have my skin tone palette here. All right, as you can see, I have painted the sickle today. And as mentioned before, I actually put a texture on this handle here, which is something I haven't tried before. This is the texture. And so I just used a gel gloss medium that Golden makes, but it really, really adds a whole lot of dimension. And I really didn't need to blend the colors as much because the texture is kind of this added element that just makes it easier to paint for some reason. So I think I'm gonna keep experimenting with textures a little bit more, but and I've been working on the eyes a little bit. Um, usually on faces I put two or three layers, so this is only the first layer, so I still have a couple more layers to go on there, but as you can see, my look is very disturbed because my hand is getting chopped off. I'm gonna be doing the second layer on her face. Get that popping. November 2nd, the day before the election, the most important election of our lifetime. I have a lot of mixed feelings today. Um, today, one thing I'm going to be doing is releasing my new painting called Sickle Country because I really do feel like there is a pervasive sickness within our country, politically, racially, and just emotionally, deep within our spirits. And this painting came to me as a vision when I was meditating one day and I imagined my left hand being chopped off by a sickle. So, good luck out there you guys. Um, just hold the ones you love close and let's just maintain a positive atmosphere, a positive mentality. We've got this. I'm gonna go ahead and meditate now and envision Biden as our president and enjoy this beautiful sun and the snow at the same time. So it's beautiful here upstate, guys. Thanks for checking out my painting and love you.